So now we're doing Unit 4D on installment loans and the formula we need is right here. It's uh, P for, PMT for payment, P for principal times the quotient of the rate over the number of payments per year and all of that divided by in brackets 1 minus parentheses 1 plus APR over N parentheses and raised to the uh, power of negative number of payments times the number of years. So as I said PMT represents payment, P for principal, APR for annual percentage rate, the interest rate, <clears throat> N for number of payments per year and Y for the number of years. So we'll need that uh, formula for several of these problems. So let's deal with question 2 on the 4D worksheet. And it says suppose you apply a five-year loan in the amount of $15,000 with an annual percentage rate of 9%, your monthly payment is $311.38. Determine the principal of the loan and the total amount of interest paid over the five years. Well, the principal is $15,000, so we took care of that. That's how much you're borrowing. The uh, total amount of money paid was $311.38 per month. <clears throat> And uh, we'll use dimensional analysis here. There's 12 months in a year, and there's five years. And the product of those, by the way, notice the months divide out, the years divide out, and we're just left with dollars. And so the total amount paid is $18,682.80. So the total interest paid is going to be the difference of the... Uh, total amount paid in the principal and that difference is um, three thousand six hundred eighty two dollars and eighty cents so we've we're done with that one. Now we're doing question three from that uh, 40 worksheet and it says calculate the monthly payments for a home mortgage of two hundred and thirty four thousand dollars with a fixed payment or fixed APR of 7.3 percent for 15 years. <clears throat> so referring to the formula that we started off with, <clears throat> the principal is 234,000, the APR is 7.3 percent or 0 0.073, there's 12 uh, payments in a year because they're paying monthly, and uh, there's 15 years, that's the life of the mortgage, so installing those values in the appropriate places, as you can uh, 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 please refer to the, uh, the formula for where you install those values. When you compute it, you wind up with a payment of $2,142.70. So uh, if you have trouble installing all of that in your calculator, you may consider just working up the value for the numerator and uh, then dividing that value and then enter this stat in. So you might have to do it in pieces, but nevertheless when you're done you get $2,142.70. So for question 6 on 4D, by the way, these uh, You'll see some of these questions, a couple of these questions on the test, so it's very important you understand these and they work for you. Anyhow, the balance is $3,200 on your credit card and the APR for that card is 17% and you want to pay it off in two years and you're going to make monthly payments. So uh, the principal's $3,200, APR is 0.17 n is 12, <clears throat> and 2 times 12, because y is 2, 2 times 12 is 24, that exponent's going to have a negative sign on it, and when you compute you get a payments of $158.22. Okay, for question 8, 
<clears throat> on uh, Unit 4D, we've got credit card expenses for three months. And the initial balance is $630. And the annual interest rate is 22%. Well, we need to find the monthly rate, so we'll divide 0.22 by 12, and that gives us uh, 0 0.0183 repeating. Well, I carried these threes out. Uh, <clears throat> I re repeated the threes six times to avoid a rounding error. You have to extend those out, and otherwise you'll get be off by a couple of cents because of a rounding error. So now we'll go <clears throat> oh, also, it says interest here. To compute the interest, you multiply the balance, whatever's in this column, times the interest rate, which is 0 0.01833333, and that gives us $11, and it rounds up to 55 cents. So that's our interest right here. And to compute the balance then, you take the old balance, from it subtract the payment, $420, to it add the $530 of new charges, expenses, also add the interest you owe for using that money, and your new balance becomes $751.55. So now let's repeat that except this time to compute the interest we're going to have uh, so the interest will be on uh, $751 uh, $51 and 55 cents times and 0 0.018 and we'll put six of these threes down and we when we find that product we get an interest of thirteen dollars and seventy eight cents thirteen dollars and seventy eight cents <clears throat> and uh, now that'll be your new interest for this row so to compute the value of that row, we're going to have, let's see, we've got $751.55. And from it, we made a $360 payment, so minus 360. But we have a additional expenses of $105. Plus, we have this interest that we have to add to it, which is $13.78. And the sum of those values is uh, $510.33. $510.33. And so that will be the... Uh, balance for the second row. Now, for the third row, I'll just tell you what the interest is and what the balance is, and you, you do the compute and see if you get those values. So the final interest will be interest will be $9.36 $9.36 and the final balance will be uh, $259.69. Okay, so those are the values you want to come up with. And that's, uh, that takes care of uh, Unit 4D.